Uh, Konami, what's this? Okay, let's just say Watt 7 was not prepared for some upcoming updates. I literally have to go to work at 5 a.m. Konami, and you are making me stay up and are only going to make me get two hours of sleep because you're releasing the upcoming updates. But hey, you know what? Free content's free content, baby. I gotta take it where I can get it. All that type beat right here, baby. So hope you guys are excited for my sleep-deprived upcoming updates. But in general, I am genuinely surprised that we have upcoming updates because Arc 5 World isn't like confirmed confirmed. It was confirmed in the last upcoming updates, but we haven't got any news or information on the upcoming Arc 5 World that is happening on the 28th. <laughs> So hopefully you get it like an official release date for the 28th and the upcoming updates here. But what I'm worried about is the like new unlock character that we're going to get in October. Because typically what happens with the new worlds that come into Duel Links is that Yu-Gi-Oh! will release the brand new world, release all the new characters, and then it'll release a new character in the next month after the world came out. So we're going to take a look at the upcoming updates today. If you guys are excited for today's upcoming updates, smash the like button on the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Seriously, guys, I'm releasing banger content on the YouTube channel and like 60% of you guys are not subscribed. So like if you guys can get me to 25,000 subscribers, I would appreciate you and I'll give you all a cookie. And if you subscribe right now, you'll get a better draw in your next duel. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe. But without further ado, let's go take a look at the upcoming updates. Because again, I got to go to work in like five hours. I'm going to get no sleep for my truck shift. And when I'm done with work, I'm going to die because I'm staying up a little bit later for upcoming updates. Kind of a gut feeling that we're, we're going to get something. So let's go take a look. First things first, early October, swing into action, pendulum summon challenge. Summon as many pendulum monsters as you can, get rewards according to the number of pendulum exceeds synchro fusion summons of all duelists. Well, that's cool, but again, we don't have Arc 5 World yet, and it's just funny to see that we're already getting Arc 5 stuff coming into the game, but new event is really cool. Hopefully, it's like a whole new event and not just like a bonus challenge thing, but for what it's sounding like, it looks like it's going to be a bonus challenge thing. So, you know how we normally have like our duelist challenges or a tour guide mission bingo event or like our dual quest bonus stuff like that i'm gonna guess that's what this is right here for the pendulum summon challenge just a little bonus thing that we got alongside of just our traditional stuff and dueling so that's cool right there and then alongside of the swing into action pendulum summon challenge event we got the early october dd castle supreme king rises unlock supreme king Jaden, as well as new reward cards such as the ur supreme king's castle this is actually a really good idea from konami they know that a ton of people are going to be coming back into the game thanks to Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 World. I know a lot of people are really antler, like, you know, up in the air on Arc 5, but like recently I've been seeing a lot more like excitement for Arc 5 because there's a lot of people that are like Debbie Downers about Arc 5 coming into the game because Pendulum Summoning was just very toxic to the TCG for some people. So while a lot of people are kind of negative on the stigma of Pendulum Summoning, there's also a ton of people excited. And no matter what, a ton of people are going to be coming into the game. And if Arc 5 isn't going to bring people back into the game, well, with all the news and hype circulating around, you know, Arc 5 and then right afterwards, the Supreme King coming back, well, some people are probably going to still hop into the game to unlock Supreme King Jaden. So that's really cool there. I'm looking forward to that. And it looks like, too, that we're going to get a UR card called Supreme King's Castle. So let's go take a look at it. Now, Supreme King's Castle was a card available through a skill from Supreme King Jaden, but now it's going to be just a card you can get in general, which is really cool. It's a field spell where you can fusion summon fusion monsters that must be special summoned with Dark Fusion, so you can play around having to play Dark Fusion and instead use Supreme King's Castle. And once per turn during damage calculation, if your fiend monster battles an opponent's monster, you can send an evil hero from your deck or extra deck to the graveyard. Your monster gains attack equals to the level the monster sends to the graveyard times 200 till the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. So TLDR, this card allows you to fusion summon it to evil heroes without needing to use dark fusion so you can use polymerization and other stuff like that which is cool and on top of that too you can mill your deck and send evil heroes to your uh, graveyard and then you can make one of your monsters on the field gain attack equal or times 200 of that levels of that monster's level again i cannot talk it's like i'm really tired <laughs> But overall, cool card to see in Duel Links. Let's go back to the upcoming updates. And moving on to the middle of October here. In the middle of October, we're going to get some new events right here. And the passive event that's going to go along the main event is going to be Tour Guides Mission Bingo. And this one, we're going to be able to in a new card called Fairy King Alverdeck. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Just whatever. We'll talk about it in a second. We also are getting in the middle of October here. The Turbo Duel event is going to be back. So PvP event venture and Turbo Duels are here. And oh really no new no new cards okay i don't i don't want to earn new card rewards konami like 
I'm just here to swing into action. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> okay, whatever. Resident Sleeper moving on. Hopefully the Cross Duel beta comes around the same time that uh, the Turbo Duel Grand Prix comes out or pre or whatever it's called. I can't, I'm really tired. I cannot read. Um, but anyways, though, we got that going right there. Middle of October, we also have event exclusive legendary duelist Duke Devlin coming back to the game. And he's going to be a permanently unlockable character, not exclusive to event anymore. That's a pog champ. That's really hype right there, too. And then we're going to take a look at now that we're already past mid October here. Let's take a look at Fairy King. I kind of like to go through all each of the cards. Uh, that are new from like you know early mid and late so we'll take a look at fairy king now it looks like we're getting to the late part of it okay it looks like this is an exceeds monster so that's pretty cool this is a rank four uh earth uh plant exceeds monster it takes two level uh four earth monsters once per turn you can detach an exceeds material from this card all non-earth monsters currently lose 500 attack and defense 2300 attack 1400 defense not gonna lie while it is cool it is a resonant sleeper effect the fact that you can only summon this with earth monsters and the only effect you get out of it is that you get to make all other non-earth monsters in the field lose 500 attack and defense it's really boring there is way better rank fours out there than this card right here but it's still cool to get it's still a cool card to get so i don't mind having it added through the tour guide event if i'm being honest so i'm not i'm not too upset about that pretty cool and again that was kind of it for new cards here so we're not really getting that many new cards in this event hopefully we're going to be getting a banger main box from arc 5 world to give us a lot of new fun stuff but yeah there's like literally nothing there for a new card so far but let's go see what late october has in store for us here because this is the real money maker here this is a real like big hitter that we got to pay attention is late october here we take a look and we're scrolling down and we're scrolling down otane new legendary duelist drum roll please let's see if it's an arc 5 character okay okay obtained a certain character collect event exclusive to challenge event characters you'll learn that my power transcends dimensions arc 5 character now what arc 5 character would this be i actually cannot use my two brain cells here to figure this one out but i feel like i should know this since i did watch the show Okay, well, I was looking up on Discord and whatnot, and it looks like people are saying Declan's going to be the character that is most likely referenced in this line right here, which does make sense. I was kind of thinking it was going to be Declan, or uh, I forgot what his dub or his sub name is. I'm just going to keep calling him Declan. But okay, so I was looking on Discord and whatnot just to see like what other people were thinking in the community on like what this character could be, and it looks like it most likely is going to be Declan here. Um, if you guys saw my day one video on the new day one characters and whatnot i did say declan was going to be a potential day one character but then that got flipped upside down with the fact that we got gate drops leaked a couple days ago and the gate drops didn't show anything for declan yet and it was actually showing gate drops for silvio and gong so that means that we're going to get those characters first so it looks like that this is going to be where declan's going to be able to un be unlockable in october which i'm perfectly fine with um if that is the case again my thoughts were kind of declan here i just didn't really know um, if like, cause he, in the show, he wasn't really a, that type of character to really like transport from dimension to dimension to dimension. He wasn't like an instigator. He was somebody that was trying to solve this dimension crisis that was happening in arc five world. And if you don't know, basically in arc five, it was a whole like dimension hopping thing because there's a lot of characters that were trying to take over other dimensions, learning how to access those. So it makes sense. But at the same time, it sounded like something to where it's like, well, OK, it sounded like he was trying to like invade people. But nope, it's just him flexing on the fact that he's just the better dimension duelist. So that's going to be Declan here, which is really, really, really exciting. And again, it kind of confirms basically everything that's going to be going on and probably before I upload this video. So, yeah, that's just kind of what everything's going on right here. And it kind of really confirms like what's going on for Arc 5 and whatnot for all the characters. We're going to be getting Yuya, Zuzu, Gong, and Silvio. And then we're going to be getting Declan here, which is really, really cool. Moving on like October here, we have a mission circuit event where we can get Big Tusk Mammoth. Let's go, baby. Another copy of that card and some gems. Also late October, we're getting Tag Duel Tournament back. So I'll go alongside of the new Legendary Duels event, which is pretty cool right there. So hopefully we'll get Declan in the Tag Duel event at the same time. Maybe he'll coincide with it. Who knows? So that's really cool. And then we also have in Dual Quest, we have um, the Dual Quest going along, along all this. So I'm going to guess what happens then is that probably late October and like the last week of October, we're going to get Declan. And then like literally on the tail end of October, like on the 30th or the 31st, we're going to get the dual quest and the tag duel tournament. And then the tag duel tournament will go through um, into November. That's probably what, why it's showing so many events in late October here, which is interesting. Also, I think we have one other thing here too. No, we do not. 
But that is really exciting right here. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad Declan is confirmed. That's the one thing that's going to be exciting here. And for all of you guys that are coming back to Duel Links, make sure to play a little bit after Arc 5 World because the fact that uh, the DD Castle event's coming back, being able to unlock Jaden again is going to be super, super, super exciting. So I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, we're also getting some cool cards here too. And uh, before we go, let's go take a look at Equip Shot and wrap up today's video. Jokes on you guys. I forgot Equip Shot was obtained in a Mission Circuit event before. So you know what? We are wrapping up today's video right here. Like I said, I'm really tired and I'm not here to read. Why? Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't even read. I hope you guys enjoyed my sleep deprived update on the new upcoming updates for all of you guys. Hope you guys are excited for the Arc 5 world. Once Arc 5 World comes out, I'm going to be live streaming that. I'm going to try to push for like a super long live stream. So be sure to stay tuned for that when that drops because I made sure that I have a day off of work. So I'm looking, 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 looking forward to Arc 5 coming to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave your like on the video down below to show your support. Other than that, it's going to be it for me. I got to get out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Love y'all.